Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, part number seven of the Must Learn KQL series talk about the schema. As always, make sure you um, go back and visit Rod Trent's blog posts. Those are definitely more detailed than what I'm going to do here. So, uh, this is just a basic walkthrough of the schema. So, that is his blog post. All right, so if I want to look at the schema of a specific table, let's just use security event here. I can pipe this to get schema. And then shift enter. So this will show me what the security event table looks like. So these are my column names, my data types for each of those columns. So this I can use to kind of look through a specific table and understand where a particular piece of data may live in what column uh, and then kind of craft my query off of that. So same thing over here on the left side tables. This is going to give you all of your tables uh, that are available in your workspace and if you click down here this is under Azure Monitor for VMs, the health state change event table. If I click the, uh, let me move this over some. So if I click the arrow key, this will give me the same information here, just in a different view. So these are all my columns and their types. So one good thing about the column or the, uh, the table, if I highlight, if I hover over it here, I get some information uh, like useful links to documentation. I can look at preview data. If I want to use this column in uh, the editor, it'll dump it in here. Heard this table, I'm sorry. So if I want to look at this particular table, use it in the editor, and then I can build my query, continue to build my query there. So this will lead me to docs. If I want to look at preview data, it'll actually pull it up here. So kind of give me an idea of what kind of data I might get out of this particular table. The queries button here on the left. So this is going to give me some canned available queries that may be of interest. Let me clear this out. So for applications, if I'm looking for, I don't know, some kind of failed request, I can hover over this and hit the run button. It'll dump it in to the console and then run it. So that's kind of cool. Now if I clear this out, hover over it again. Maybe I just want to look at the code for this query. And I can do that like this and then change the time or whatever I want to do to run it. And it spits out the, the data. So that's kind of cool. I can also filter here. So if I click the filter button, then it's going to give me some filtering options or some filtering options based on the data that was pr produced in this particular query. So essentially similar to what I can do with this filter button, but a different view, basically. So if I click one, apply and run, it's going to add it to my query and spit out the results. So you really don't have to know a whole lot about KQL to, to actually produce meaningful queries. Now if I look here, you can see all the specific filters um, column names and maybe I want to add one and then I should come down here and see success yep and as you can see it's adding these so this was the first filter I chose this was the second one so it's just building the query each filter on top of the other all right, so that's a little bit about the schema, how you can uh, look at it, access data, kind of use uh, some of the UI features here to streamline building some queries. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.